It may have been around for 50 years, but high-speed rail still holds the Japanese in awe. With this museum in Tokyo, young enthusiasts know all about the legendary bullet trains. The Super Komachi is a beautiful color. And I really like the way the Hayabusa's carriages are coupled. One day I want to drive the Shinkansen. The first bullet train, or Shinkansen, entered into service in 1964, a week before the Tokyo Olympic Games. It symbolized Japan's economic and social renaissance less than 20 years after the devastation of World War II. Today, the museum's director, a former railway engineer, recalls that period with fondness. The Shinkansen's goal was to become the fastest train in the world. It gave hope to the Japanese and helped them to look to the future. It was revolutionary stuff at the time, a train capable of more than 200 kilometers an hour. And now the bullet train makers want to ferry passengers at speeds in excess of 500 kilometers an hour by using magnet-propelled trains which hover 10 centimeters above the tracks. In 2045, they aim to cut journey times between Tokyo and Osaka from the current two and a half hours to a mere 67 minutes. Beyond the speed of the Shinkansen, there is also its safety and comfort. It is part of Japanese culture, and I hope it always will be. Fifty years in counting, Japan's bullet trains have yet to suffer a fatal accident and have carried several billion passengers.